Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. Welcome to a brand new week. The, I think the second or the first full week of the month of September, the second week of September. Uh, today is Monday, the 6th of September, 2021. Uh, our Sense of Destiny today is titled, The Temptation of Serving God Without a Cost. The Bible says, And Pharaoh called unto Moses and said, Go ye, serve the Lord, only let your flocks and your herds be stayed. Let your little ones also go with you. Exodus 10, 24. Satan always poses before the children of God with temptations that hinder their effective service to God. It has been confirmed that Satan always poses before the children of God temptations that hinder their effective service to God. From our anchor scripture today, God's servant has made us understand that Pharaoh told Moses that the Israelites could go and serve God, but their flocks and herds should be left behind. So one temptation that hinders effective service is the temptation to serve God without a cost. It is a temptation to serve God without your resources. In Exodus chapter 10 verse 24, Pharaoh seemed to have told Moses, go, go and serve the Lord, but only let your properties and your flocks and your business and your resources and your herds stay behind. Even your children can follow you, but your property, your money, your resources cannot be used to serve your God. Pharaoh did not want the children of Israel to leave Egypt with their resources or money because he knew that where their money was, there would their hearts also be. So he wanted to keep the hearts of the people of Israel back in Egypt, even though he permitted them to go as far as they wanted to go to serve God. Matthew chapter 6, verse 21. Beloved, this is one major temptation that many people have not been able to overcome. Many people can do almost everything, fasting, prayer for many days, praying for many hours, running, speaking in tongues consistently, abstaining from iniquity and all that, but they cannot give even a little uh, of their money to God. They would not allow their service to God to affect their resources. They would not inconvenience themselves financially in any way for God. Whenever there is a call for giving uh, for the cost of the gospel in church, it, 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 it does not concern them. They, they let the words fly over their heads. These people would tell you, business is business, church is church. Let your business face itself and let your God face itself. No, 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 no. Beloved, our counsel to you today is do not allow anything or anyone hinder you from serving God sacrificially. Praise the Lord. Remember this, that Satan always poses before the children of God the temptations that hinder them from effectively serving God with their resources. That shall not be your portion in Jesus' name. What's our assignment today? Number one, go through today's message again. Number two, refuse to serve God conveniently. Make up your mind to give all it takes to serve God. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Pray this after me. Say, Lord, I refuse to serve you conveniently. I receive the grace to serve you sacrificially, oh God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. By way of reflection, God's servant today has said that has your service to God cost you anything? Is your worship and service to God costing you anything? Whatever has no cost holds no value. Think about it and take active decisions that you will move forward with. In Jesus' name, praise God. Before I close, I'd like to pray for somebody. You want to be born again. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. Praise God. I declare today that the word of God be made available to you and the grace to go far with God and to be able to serve God with your resources is released upon you in Jesus' name. I'd like to wish you a very happy birthday. God bless you. As your day so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you. May God give you a reason to celebrate this year and may God cause you to have a glorious birthday, a glorious anniversary in case it's your anniversary today and the help of God be released on you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Peace.